Peeps, it's Linda here for Canvas Core Brand and uh, today I'm going to be um, doing my projects using this um, tag, it's a wooden tag, it is measures, it measures nearly 10 inches by five and a half and I'm going to be using tissue paper I'm going to be using the pens from architectures the uh, one of these charms and this paper which came in my welcome pack I'm not sure where it's from I'm using the um, pen and ink on ivory from canvas core and I'm using this which came from um, another of their vintage travel packets corrugated card I want to use the this is a dilution stencil and it's going to be um, all about love write it love letters and I've got some lace, black lace and red ribbon that I'm going to put in the top. So first off what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the tissue to the, the tag and I'm going to be using Mod Podge to add it. I'm just going to quickly cover the whole of the tag with Mod Podge. And what I'm going to do is it's, it's a little bit big and as long as both sides screws falling out my chair as both sides fit the edges I'm going to crease it so I'm just going to crease it so we'll get texture on the on the tag I'm just going to go around the edges again just so I know it's sealed about the um, and I'm doing the back as well I want the back covered too so and then I'm just going to give this a quick blast with the heat gun some nice texture going on there before I move on to the other the other side so this is going to be the back of the, the tag and I'm going to give it a quick blast with the heat gun Just 
trim off the excess this bit done now. Nothing much podge. And blast, give that a blast. And now I'm just going to cut the excess off of this as well. off the edges okay so now I want to give it a, a colour wash with um, with my Windsor and Newton white gesso primer and I'm just going to give it a white wash I don't want baby right. Just give it a quick wash. And I like it because the brown comes through from the from the tag. Oops. So I'll give that a quick dry. So I'll do the front. Quickly just move it round. Quite like these um, creases in the Tissue paper. There we are. So that's not that colour wash. Right on the back, I'm going to add some parts, and I just want them kind of. I want them to go up or down. I can see a, a hair somewhere and I can't see it when I lift it up. So I'm just going to do a, a rainfall, kind of like a, a flow of hearts. And I'm going to use this texture paste, structure paste from the Imagination Crafts, which is a UK company. 
and I'm going to mix some red in it. So I want to a generous dollop here, and I've got um, Vermilion Transparent, which is PBO High Viscosity Studio acrylic paint, and I want to add it to there. And I'm just going to add it. It's coming out like a nice pinky. So I'm just going to, from one side to the other, just going to. Don't you just hate it when that happens? So I can place it on. Know where it is. going to finish off here. I'm just going to pop that down because I do want to use it in a minute. Put it on a piece of tissue, I think. So I'm going to blast that with the heat gun now. So as you can see, I've just got a four of parts. is dry and I'm just going to wipe this up and start again this together now. <coughs> now this is going to be the front and um, this I just want to um, might do it the other way around actually have it coming up
Right, good. Pleased with that. And then I'm just going to finish off So I'm going to uh, leave that to dry and I'll be back when it's finished, when it's dry. <laughs> so that's that dry and um, the back's dry as well now. So to continue on with this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I want to cut, I'm going to draw a heart I think, but I want to draw half a heart, so I just need to measure how, so I could go like that. I'm just going to put this out. The heart is going to sit, maybe it could do with going around a bit more. There we are. So I want that to sit on there like that. And then I want this, I want this ink part, this black ink. I'm going to cut that out. I'm not going to go on there like that. I want the ink pot, what I'm thinking, and then I'm going to tear this. comes across like that and the heart can go on there and I want to just cut this out won't take me long Because I'm left-handed, he says I, I'm doing it back to front. <laughs> so I don't know how it is for you who are watching. Even when, I'm when I decorate, I kind of go... I suppose I go left to right because I always like to start on the left. My husband who's right handed, he starts from the right, so we meet in the middle, which is good really. So I want that there. I'm just going to place everything on just so you can see where I'm going with this. I want that there. And um, I've got these nice architecture nibs, uh, the, where is it, ink pens. I like the packaging as well. Not nice. I might use that on another project. 
I'm going to use one of the pens and have that and then at the top I've got this nice wooden um, metal heart and it says love and more I'm going to place that on I got these while I was in America at, um, at one, um, oh, I can't remember the name of the shop now, Tuesday morning I think it is. And these mitts by Tim Holtz are brilliant because they've got, um, they've got weight on them. And so I've got, I'm going to pick, I'm going to try to couple to the top. So we've got memories and I've got thoughts. I'm going to place them up there like that. Put that on there. I have the charm here. And uh, then I'm going to add the, add the lace and red, red ribbon so I suppose really I should think about getting all these put together now so yeah so I need to just bring that down a bit and I'm going to use grand espresso just round the edges around the bottle as well. I hate white edges on my uh, on my work. And then I'm going to introduce some of the brown. Onto the tissue paper. going over the hearts as well because it will just tone the colour down so it's not quite so bright. I quite like to do. So if you can see and it just picks up the, um, the colour, the creases in the um, To the back as well while I'm at it. Right, okay, now it's time to put everything together. <coughs> Excuse me. Put that out of the way. And then, right, so this is going to be the first. And I've got this um, clear glue, which is from Stamps by Me, again, a UK company. And I don't know why. Oh. it the wrong way.
looking good. And I'm going to use some I'm going to use some silicon 3D glue to uh, just raise the pot up, up so it's not flat. And to add this charm. memories and thoughts and I need to place this on as well do is just add the pen nib I really like these they're um, self adhesive and um, so I just need um, maybe a quote now so I'm just going to get my Tim Holtz chit chats I think and to finish off I'm going to use the clipping stickers from Tim Holtz I'm just going to look for something that um, will fit I think I'm going to go with Love is Spontaneous and I'm just going to pop that across there like that and then using a pen <laughs> my Pigma Micron I'm just going to draw around it just to highlight it It fits quite nicely with the colour of the paper too. And all that's left for me to do now is add the lace and the ribbon to the top. So I want to cut the, the lace. Same length as my ribbon, and I get a poke tool. Oh, dear me, I'll have to go on in a minute. going to place this through now. I'm 
want. Just like to put everything at an angle, just it just prevents everything from fraying. And I might even add a bow. So that can go back up there. I think I'll just add that onto there like that. Yep, I think I will. Here we are. You know, I have some of these, um, I'm not sure what you call them, I call them glue dots. Just place that on the back of the on the back of the bow. Pop it on there like that. Is my um, my project done for canvas core brands for August? I hope you've enjoyed the the quick video. And um, if you ha do, then please like and a thumbs up. And as with all my videos, I will have um, some still photographs at the end so you can see the finished result close up and um, thank you so much for watching today and uh, until next time happy crafting bye bye